Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. I hope you had an amazing holiday season. It's been a minute. <laughs> I've been a little sporadic on the old YouTube lately. I apologize. Um, I had a pretty good Christmas holiday myself. Um, nothing really went as planned and I find that's pretty, uh, pretty common. <laughs> but it all kind of worked out. Um, unfortunately, I did end up <clears throat> getting a little bit sick. I woke up New Year's Eve with a cold, so I decided to stay home and just chill. Um, so that kind of sucked, but, and I'm still, you can probably hear it a little bit, not feeling 100%, and that's why it took me so long to get back to filming. Um, I really did want to film over the holidays because I had a little bit of time, but it, it was very odd. So the beginning of the my Christmas break was supposed to be really busy and then I was going to get to chill, which is what I love. That's my favorite. <laughs> and then, you know, relaxing a little bit before having to go back to work. Um, it kind of didn't really end up that way. We ended up with a nasty, nasty snowstorm here in Southern Ontario right um, at the start of Christmas. So we thought it best to, for everyone just sort of stay put. Um, my family is a little bit spread apart, not far. Um, we're all within like 30 minutes to an hour of each other, maybe a little more for some of us, but it's just enough that when you're getting <laughs> a foot of snow in 24 hours, it's just not, not ideal to uh, travel. So. I ended up having a very quiet Christmas at home and some quiet few days, which honestly was kind of amazing and I needed it. And then I had a very busy few days with the people that I love and then I got sick. So I ended up kind of chilling again before going back to work. So can't complain. I feel like things kind of happened the way they were meant to happen. But yeah, I really, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and New Year. I hope you did not get sick. I know there's a lot um, going around. I feel, I don't want to say fine. Um, I feel kind of normal <laughs> now. Um, but I know I don't sound 100%. I still have a cough. Um, I started losing my voice a little bit last night, but I feel okay. Um, I feel normal for me. It's just, it sounds worse than it is. So I'm going to try to make this video a little more on the brief side, just because of my voice. Cause it will go <laughs> if I ramble the way I normally love to ramble. Um, so y'all are here for my home fragrance MDs part two for December, 2022. This is probably the latest <laughs> I have filmed one of these videos but I'm excited to finally have the opportunity and feel up to doing it. So yeah, let's let's jump in. There's two candles, we'll talk about the candles first. I'm having a sip of coffee real quick, so BRB. <laughs> yeah, it's getting cold already. Okay, I think I might've mentioned in my last Home Fragrance Empties that I was working on these and that you would see them, so they're here. First up, Every winter, usually around Christmas, I like to bo burn. I almost said born. I think, uh, ignore me. Don't ignore me. <laughs> um, winter Candy Apple from BBW. Tried and true for me. Scent notes. Candied apples, crisp pears, oranges. That is interesting. This is one of those scents that BBW keeps changing their notes but the scent doesn't change, which tells you how much of that is like bullshit, right? Um, love the scent. Uh, it's very sweet candied apple. It literally smells like, to me, um, a red apple with that red candy glaze on it. So good. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, do I even need to say it anymore? <sighs> this had um, the thick, stumpy wicks. So they were, yeah, so the, I would trim them, but they were so short and stubby that it got to the point where I didn't want to trim them because then it wouldn't light anymore. I 
but if I didn't trim them, the soot, the bullshit, right? So the scent was good until the halfway point. Typical, typical, typical. Um, yeah, you guys know I'm kind of, this is the stuff that makes me kind of over candles. I haven't bought any in a long time. I'm using up my stash. I do love this scent. I think maybe in the future, if I couldn't find like a dupe for this in say a wax melt, um, I would probably still purchase one of these like every for every winter if the price was right, which it's a whole other thing. Bath and Body Works has a lot of balls charging what they charge now without having fixed the bullshit, you know? Like we all know that Bath and Body Works has had a formula that has worked. We've all had successful candles at some point. We know they can do it. So, I mean, to be charging what they're charging now post COVID and to still be dealing with this bullshit, it's just really frustrating. Um, so if I did, do, you know, get another one, it would have to be a really good price and I would probably warm it. I would probably either chunk it up, throw it in warmers or um, put it on my, I call it a candle warmer, but it's actually for mugs of coffee to keep them warm, which is what I should be doing with this. Um, but I just, you can see it's around the same size, right? So I just put these on a warmer. And so I could do that. And then my second or third that I burned of this candle this fall winter Oh, my beloved. Again, this is not the first empty you've seen from me um, of this scent this year. Cranberry Woods. Obsessed. Love this fragrance. Scent notes. Tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar. I don't dig cinnamon. You guys know this. But there's something about this scent. Oh, it's sweet. It's woodsy. It's, it's sophisticated. It's... Oof. Sorry, I just took the lid off and I smell soot. So, <laughs> same wicks. Those thick ass wicks. And you can probably see, I, I think you can, that the one wick did self extinguish. So you can see that it is surrounded by soot while the other two just tried to keep the game going and they just, they couldn't hold it up guys. So eventually, it just all went to shit. There's a fair amount of wax in this, but like, that's not gonna smell good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I wish, um, what's the cranberry scent that I love from Scentsy? It might be in here. Oh no, I think I warmed it earlier. Um, cranberry, cranberry, cranberry. I can see it, but I can't see the word. Anyway, the red wax cranberry scent that I like from um, Scentsy, if it was more like this, I, I would just stop buying these. It's just, it's not the same and this is better. This is my favorite. Mm, it's either my favorite cranberry scent or it's tied with Yankees cranberry chutney, but it's impossible, not impossible. It is very difficult for me to get my hands on Yankee candle products. Um, a, there's no really good ordering offer. Like, there's no way to order online in Canada to get Yankee without paying, like, a stupid amount of money. Um, and where I live, the closest Yankee is, like, 45 minutes away. And I just, I don't know. I'm not a, a big in-store shopper anymore. And if I went to that mall, you bet your ass I'd be going to Yankee. But I don't even know if they would have cranberry chutney at this point. Anyway... I'm rambling, but yeah. This and cranberry chutney are like, they're my jam. Okay, and then it looks like I finished up four wax bars at the end of December as well. And my nose is starting to run. I've been such a mess lately. Um, oh yes. I have started like grabbing some spring summer stuff because my stash of fall winter scents is pretty small. And um, yeah, like I've used up so much of it and I don't have another Scentsy Club coming until March, I wanna say. So unless I start ordering some fall stuff now, fall winter stuff, I just don't have a lot. So I've been sort of dipping into my fave spring summer scents because I have so many, why not? 
my life. It's my house. I can make it smell how I want to. So um, one of my Scentsy Club addictions from the Mixa Collection, the Grapefruit Orange. It smells like orange soda. Oh, it's so dang good. It's strong. It's juicy. It's sweet. It's kind of Blue Grotto in vibe, which I love Blue Grotto. It's, yeah, it's like orange soda, but in the best way. Not too sweet, not too fake, you know? But I like fake. You guys know I like the artificial fruity stuff. Love. Love that. Also, if that is backwards to you guys, I'm sorry. Um, I just put the last cube of this bad boy in my bathroom. I'm sorry, there's something in my eye. Honeymoon Hideaway. I grabbed this when it was available in the last Bring Back My Bar because it is one of the most beautiful fragrances I have ever experienced in my life. It's indescribable, but it's nostalgic for me. It, th this takes me back to childhood. There was like something I used that this reminds me of a lot. I know there's kiwi in this and that's all I remember. I'm sorry. And this is, I believe, my only bar of it. I just wanted to have one because dot, 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 <laughs> it doesn't perform. Um, it's dang near scentless for me. Um, I have tried and tried and tried. And I thought when it came back in the, in the beer back my bar, I'll get one and I will let it cure. And hopefully it'll get stronger and I can smell it. Um, so I've been warming this one cube at a time in my bathroom because my bathroom is this big. So if a scent doesn't perform it, it's got to perform in there. <sighs> um, every once in a while I do get a whiff of it. I just put the last cube in yesterday or last night. Um, yesterday morning, I think, before work. And yeah, um, and it could be that I have stronger scents around that are sort of like overtaking it. But I have had, you know, the odd time I'm straightening my hair in the morning for work and I'm like, oh, there it is, there it is. And I get so excited. It's just sweet, fruity, fresh. All the things that Shannon loves. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. And I've heard so many other people make the same complaints that, <coughs> I'm sorry, um, that they absolutely love it but can't smell it. I'm assuming that it is an issue with the type of oils because I feel like if it could be stronger, Scentsy probably would have made it stronger. I know they do like to make lighter fragrances because not everybody likes the level of scent that I do. Um, some people like just a hint of fragrance so they don't want everything to be super strong. But I've heard so many people complain year after year after year about this one being too light that I feel like it just must not have been possible. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, like, giving Sensi more credit than they deserve. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Um, <clears throat> right before Christmas, I finally got to Dancing Sugar Plums. This one went juicy, which is funny. I'm pretty sure this is new. I think I just got this. But I might have had it sitting out over here where you can see all that sunshine. I get a lot of sun here, as you can see right now. I don't have one light on. Ah, oh, love this. And I just got it on my chin. <sighs> Can't make this shit up. You really cannot. Um, yeah, so Dancing Sugar Plums, obsessed. This is one that I always found to be like on the lighter side. Uh, I want to say it was new last last fall winter. I think this was the second year that it was available. Maybe the third. I think it was the second. Anyway, it is a sweet fruity scent, my jam, with just enough spice to make it feel fall, winter, holiday, um, but not so much spice or like cinnamon clovey that I can't do it because <laughs> you guys know I just, I'm not so into the spiciness, especially cinnamon and clove. I can do very small amounts of it, and that's what I feel like this is. And it's sweet, so it's done well. It's It kind of reminds me of Welcome Home in that way. Welcome Home is very... Did I get it on me again? <laughs> um, Very, like, sweet, spicy, but I can handle it because of the sweetness, I feel like, and it's not overbearing. I don't know. 
Oh, it's so good. It's so good. But this is a fragrance that I would stick to fall, winter. I, I definitely would not warm this in the spring, summer. Not for me. And last but not least, and I'm warming this right now, just finishing off the last four cubes and talk about Juicy. This clam is like almost orange. Um, everyone loves <laughs> winter berry apple tea. Similar vibe, very similar vibe, I think, to Jan Dancing Sugar Plums and Welcome Home. Mm, the spice combo is very similar. Very, very similar. I'm just putting this together right now. <laughs> Wow, these are a lot alike. Winterberry apple tea is stronger. There is a tea note in this that is not in this. There's a little bit of apple in this that's not in this, but they are very similar. Winterberry apple tea performs better for me. I like them both. Um, I love winterberry apple tea. I'm not maybe as obsessed with it as some people are, but I do really like it. I like to have at least one or two bars every fall and winter, and it does come back every year, so. I won't put it in my club and I'll hope for the best. I could live without it, but I do really enjoy it. So that's that. I am covered in oil um, and I need to wash my hands and my face now. So <laughs> that's it. Um, last half of December, I, got, I finished up those two candles and those four wax melts. Oh, this is why I need to mention this stuff at the beginning of the video, because by the end, it's gone. Fish brain, gone. Um, I've also been, I opened up my last Scentsy Brick. <laughs> I don't know how I went from a stack of them, like I had this many Scentsy Bricks at one point, to one. <laughs> but I've opened that very last one, which is Sugar Cookie, and I've also been using that. I've been mixing it. You guys know I'm obsessed with Sugar Cookie, Team Sugar Cookie. Um, I love it on its own, and I love mixing it, so I've been using that. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. The next video you're going to see from me is going to be my favorite Scentsy Wax mixes. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell as well. That way you won't miss any upcoming content. Y'all are the best. I appreciate you. Have a great day and make sure that you have a wonderfully scented day. Bye guys.